Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? So I thought I would come in and take a minute and just do a video on, and I've been asked this a few different times, not so much to make a video, but um, I've been asked like what equipment I use and just what I use overall for filming my videos and how um, it works for me. So I thought I would take you through all my filming equipment. So all the equipment that it takes for me or I like to have <laughs> to be able to film a video. Um, lighting is crazy for me. I struggle with my lighting, I feel. Um, I feel like I have gotten a pretty good solution down now. But from the get-go, like I, my space that I filmed in was always just a dark space. Like I just didn't have a lot of light. Here now I have a whole wall of windows, which is going to bring a lot of natural light in. But I also have a film on my window, so it won't cure my gel. <laughs> so I'll see how that works in the summertime. I don't know. I haven't been in my studio yet for the summertime. So, but for filming, we film all hours of the night and stuff. So you do need good concentrated lighting. And I think that's the key. It's the concentrated lighting. So I'll show you what I use. I use a softbox, um, that I, which I attach to my wall now, which if you're able to do that, I'm telling you, you will love it. It's just so nice to get it off of the ground because they're such big bases. Okay, so we're going to go through that. We're going to go through, I literally wrote down a list because I'm a list girl. Um, and I didn't want to skip anything, what I thought was important, but also what I thought or what I think is important but know that it's important to grow to that stage as well do you know what i mean like you don't feel that you have to go and get the best of the best of the best of the best right away especially if you're not 100 percent sure if you know you're going to really give it your all like until you're 100 percent sure that like, you know this is it like i'm doing this as my job this is not just a fun thing like for me then by all means invest your money into the more um higher quality um some things light stands and things like that so I'll tell you what I have now and then I can also show you what I started from and I worked my way up to Elevate. I've had my channel now for just over a year out of Blue Rose Nails. I think October 7th, um, 2021 is when I had my first video on YouTube. So, and I just, and I basically created my channel for that. So I created my channel late September and then my first video went up in October. So I've only been filming YouTube videos for a little over a year. And I've definitely upgraded a little faster on some things, but that is unfortunately just my personality and it's not always a good thing by all means, but you know, do it when you can, don't force it. But I definitely would say like, put your money where it matters first, all the nail arts and all the goodies and all the things that we want, they're always going to be there. There's always going to be new trends, but the things that it takes to create that good quality video is the things that, you know, you, you're, that's where you're gonna have to put your money in so you might have to trade off less nail art for a little bit but you know you're gonna get really good high quality videos that people want to watch and then that will make your channel grow faster which you'll get monetized and then you can start making some money off of YouTube which still takes a lot guys it does not come easy um, but then you can start getting back into buying more of your nail art and stuff like that but just in my case I do think that your equipment is pretty important and I know it's not where you see the money um, <laughs> But it's definitely where the money is going to count. Do you know what I mean? So it's the foundation of your channel, really, is your equipment that you use to film your videos and edit your videos and lighting to see the videos and how it comes out quality. People want to watch YouTube like they're watching a regular TV program. That's what it is nowadays. That's the quality they expect. So do you know what I mean? If you want to grow big and fat, I have to put WD-40 on this chair. I did just recently get a new chair. I was in the market for a little bit. I had my old chair for like four or five years. That was just, it never got it for comfort. I bought that chair literally because it was nice and it was my makeup um, desk chair. So I didn't need it for like long-term comfort. It's a nice, good chair, but it just not for long-term. So I got this, this is a gaming chair. Um, what is it? Dark Echo, I think it's called. I've only had it for, it's the first week and it's Wednesday. I'm not hating it, but I'm not like, OMG, you know what I mean? What the heck for the price of that I spent on this chair. But over time is what I'm hoping I'll, I'll see my money's worth. But we're not going to talk about chairs. I think chairs are definitely important because your body is important. You have to listen to your body, your posture, all that is very important. 
but as long as you're comfortable and just make sure to try to keep your posture upright when you're doing nails and not always be so slouchy because you will definitely hurt your body over time um then for now you should be fine with this really any chair get a cushion or something but so let's go through we're going to talk about uh, down here what i have on here so far for our thing we have our equipment our lighting um I'm going to call it extras because I have monitors going. I have a monitor going when I film and I record, which lets me see what I'm doing. So I make sure that I'm in shot and I can see what basically is being filmed and good, right? So I can make sure I get dice angles and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. This is not going to make you buying this stuff and getting it is not going to make you like the world's best YouTuber because it takes practice and skill. I'm still learning. Like I'm so new at this. I was never a tech person prior to this. I didn't even really have like social media prior to this. I think probably Facebook because everybody and their mom has Facebook since like whenever, but Insta and all that, you probably didn't have none of that shit before I started um, VR. So it takes time to get there, but I have the equipment and stuff and now I just gotta teach myself. So that's what I'm doing. So I do have extras like my monitor. I so, and then I have the cord. I use my cell phone to record. Um, all my videos. I do have a camera. I have, oh my god, a Sony camera. It's a nice good camera. It's definitely more of a picture camera because you can't flip it to see yourself. But I have a monitor. I could overhead film very easily um, with my camera. But I love the convenience of the phone. I think the phone makes it work. The quality of the phones nowadays are excellent. So I feel like you can do it from a phone. All my videos are recorded from a phone, transferred to my um, tablet and then edit it. Now I used to edit it just from my phone and I will tell you a little bit more about that when we get to the editing apps and stuff but for now I'm just gonna go over and show you like the little things. So I have a cord that attaches to my phone to attach to the monitor so I can see everything. It's like a mirror cord I think it's called and mine is a type C to an HDMI cord so that's the only cord that you would need and then of course again there's going to be another adapter to go from your monitor for that cord and then put that in and then there's also like i have my laptop hooked up to my monitor so my laptop literally sits over there but i can control everything from right here so cords right there's a lot of different cords that can turn one thing into a lot of different things to function so the monitor worked out really well for me i personally like it i'll show you how it works and why I like it so much and it just works for me I need to see myself if not like I was just looking up in my phone too much to try to see if I was in frame or I'm just out of frame and I don't want that I want good quality high quality videos because I know what I like to watch and that's what I like to watch so I only want to try to put that up there now I'm not saying my videos are going to be great because I'm still new I'm still learning how to create video I'm still learning how to edit videos I'm still learning everything that goes into YouTube and I'm not saying that just to be like huh I'm saying it because I've only been in the game for over a year and I'm teaching myself every step of the way so but there is ways to learn and do it good quality if even if you don't know you just keep practicing and practicing and overdoing something will make you better at it right all right that was a lot that mug is so dirty like coffee's dripped all over that mug Anyway, my Dollar Tree mug. Don't judge me, they have cute stuff there. Okay, so I'm gonna just move you guys. I wanna talk about lights first because it's up there. Um, or actually, you know, let me just talk about phones first, what I use to record, what you guys are standing on. So what I'm gonna do right now, because it's the only way I think I'm gonna know how to do that. But I can take, for instance, let me take this other phone here, because I have a couple other phones. I don't use them that much. I only use this other phone if I'm double recording. And I haven't double recorded that much. I used to love double recording calls and stuff, and I think I might have to get back into that because I did truly enjoy that. And of course, both of those phones are dead. So I'm recording on the phone that I always record my videos on. This phone here is my cell phone. So my cell phone, I personally try, like I don't like to film on it. I film shorts, I film little stuff like that. Yes, but I, that's not my main phone or my main um, um, recording device is my cell phone. And the reason for that is because when I'm recording and I'm doing stuff, I like to still have my phone to look up stuff or do whatever like it's it's going to be hard for you to use your cell phone as your main recording device 
and your cell phone because that is the thing that you take pictures with you save stuff with you like stuff it's just it's gonna hold so much of your personal stuff that you're not gonna have a lot of room for filming and that is the truth even if you put the cards in it um, yeah, you can run through a lot of cards and that would that's also a way of doing it But I'm telling you it's just easier if you're able to have a secondary phone for filming. That's my truth. That's how I feel but so for now, like I said, I'm recording on my S20 Samsung all my phones are Samsung. I've been a Samsung lover for a good minute now. I've never liked iPhones. I Don't know. I just don't like you there's no thing about it. I just had never got used to it. And that's the truth. I liked it. I've never given it a shot. So it's not that I don't like them. It's just I don't know an iPhone. I've always liked Samsung. So because I've never given it a shot, I usually just go repurchase Samsung. So that's what I do. So this is an S20. So and my cell phone now that I'm recording on, I'll just show you guys. I have an S22. So every two years I just upgrade. So this is all this little stand is just a flexi little stand from Amazon. I will definitely put that out down in the description. And then this little thing is just, I don't know, a clamp. And that's my phone. That's how we're recording. And that's exactly what you guys will see. So that being said, I use that phone for my recording all the time. Now, if I'm double recording, I'm blessed. My mom gave me her old phones. Um, and because of me, she's a Samsung user as well, because I tell her just get a Samsung, they're a little easier anyways, especially if you're not savvy. I think iPhones are a little more techy. Um, so for her and her standard, I feel like she didn't need an iPhone. It was just easier for her to get a Samsung. And so when she needs help with it, it's easier for me to help her as well. So she's always gotten Samsungs for that reason. So she gave me her S8, I think this is. I think it's an S8. So I have an S8 here that I also use for face filming. So I'll double film. And then when you do that, it's just having two cameras pointed at you. So two phones, two cameras, whatever it is, whatever you're using. I can't talk a lot on cameras because I only recorded like two or three times on a camera and I just never got familiar with it. So I just don't really know, but I'm assuming you would just transfer all your stuff via cord or thing the same way to your, lap to your laptop, right? Or whatever else you're editing on, I guess. So I have another phone for double recording. My mom also had this old phone that she just got. She never liked it, so she um, got a new one. But this is a Samsung S20. Um, I believe it's the FE. I have no clue what these FEs and Fs, whatever. I tell my mom, don't ever get them again. Just go for a Samsung like S20 or S whatever, like the more known version. No thing on them. I just. Just, they're just a little diff. But anyways, still good. The quality of the camera is a little different. It's not as good actually, even of the eight, which is pretty old um, in phone standards or phone years. So luckily I have a couple phones, right? But my main, 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 main phone is my secondary phone. And that's just the phone that I got. So when do you think you're gonna go upgrade your phone? Don't trade your phone in if you're gonna be a, a YouTuber, if you're filming, you can use that as your recording device because that's all I do. And I transfer it. So everything Samsung in my studio, so everything will transfer very, very easily for me anyways. So if you're all Samsung, that's great. My tablet is Samsung. My, um, my monitor is also a Samsung. So, I try to get Samsung all over. My laptop is not though. My laptop is just an HP. I do like that laptop, but I don't use my laptop often. Do I think you need a laptop? 1000% because when you go into your YouTube studio, it is so different from your phone to how it is on your laptop. You'll see and you see and be able to do a lot of different things. So always check your laptop when you're doing and looking at your studio. If you really need to get in there for the nitty gritty business, if you just want your analytics and stuff, then you can use your phone. Easy peasy, right? But there is a difference between the two if you don't know. So check that out on that side. I feel like these arms, I'm gonna have to take off this chair. So that is that. So let's go now. So we did, what did we do? Talking for 15 minutes, so I have to said something. Equipment, okay, so I can go on the equipment. Now, for now, I'm just gonna move you guys with me. That's the beauty of this one. I'm just gonna flip you. So for now here, this is my main um, stand that I record with and it always stays on my desk. I, you can put it out on the ground. I don't ever use it on the ground. I have another long one. If I do ground filming, I just use that. It's just easier. But this is the Archon mount and yeah, it works pretty good. I haven't had any issues. You do have to have something on the back of it because it just will be a little top heavy over time, right? Like it's 
how far, depending on how far you extend it out or how straight or how you bend it. So I just have this little decorative thing that sits there on it. Now, when I first started, I did not have an Archon mount. I actually had a regular mount. I'll put a picture up of it. Um, it just attaches to like the side of your desk and comes up and out and over. And I also had a same light that matched that as well. Um, I think the only reason I wanted like the Archon is because it wasn't attached to your desk. I like that I didn't have to attach it to my desk because sometimes that can be a pain, especially with these Alex drawers, depending on how far you're putting your desk down. So, um, again, I was probably still like six, seven months into it and then I upgraded to the Archon, maybe even longer. Um, and then this little light is a daylight saving light. Um, I like it. I think it's pretty good. This does attach to the back of my desk. Mm, I don't know. You have two. They both go on separate. You can get three different levels. They do up, down. They don't swivel. This was around $100. And my money, which is Canadian, was it worth it? I wish the arm, the arm was longer, in all truth. I wish that was a little longer. I feel like it's a little short. But it's still a good light. Um, they do have the silver ones, but by golly, like three bills on a light. I just, I haven't, I haven't pulled that trigger yet. I don't, not yet. So that's, that's a big one. So for now, that's not bad. It is a really good light. It works good in combination of my other light, which is this light up here. So this is my big studio light. It's a soft box and I attached it to my wall. Now this works great. I feel like it gives me all the light I could need and it just cascades over my desk. Now with this thing here this little lever I can put that down and I can lower that if I want so when I am working like even at dark at night when I'm working I lower that and then I turn off sorry I'm gonna blind you a little this chandelier is all daylight lights as well or like white bulbs sorry oh look I have one out um and still look how bright it is <laughs> it's so bright that light alone gives me a lot of light but when I'm filming at night and I just kind of want to be doing my own thing but still have light I actually lower this big light down and then I can turn off the big light in here and then all my concentrated light is just like right where I need it on my desk. So that's really cool that that does that. I really like that light. Um, here now, this is my tablet. I just recently got this. I got this for Christmas this year. So, and it works amazing for me. Like I love editing on that. I'm not, I realize how what type of person I am. I'm a very like need to have my feet up and chill to get work done type of person so editing like on my little nook area works really well for me on smaller things like I don't want to sit at a desk and edit that's just not how I am so I like that I can do it on my tablet and I do everything on my tablet and all my phones literally I quick share files so I just quick share it through my phone and it goes directly over there done I can delete it off my phone and I know it's there and I can edit it when I need to get it edited works amazing I'm going to show you a few things on this of our um um, like Canva and stuff in a few minutes, but let's go over here. This is just my monitor um, In all truth, I think it's like a 20 inch or something. It's not big and I didn't want it to be too big But I also didn't want it to be like too too baby. Um, I got it a pretty good deal I think it was like 200 bucks or something. Maybe a little less. I know I see them on Amazon I just went to Best Buy to get mine. They had a sale on and like I said, I think it's just it works amazingly now this is Samsung as well. So everything is pretty simple to transfer everything. I really do like Samsung to Samsung. Um, and that's the only reason I really just wanted to stick with the brand. That's the reason I got that one. And it works great. It mirrors anything I put down on my phone. Again, I'm recording from this, so don't know if we're really going to be able to see that. We can try. Let's try. So here, I just have it attached up here, which is just through a little loop because it makes my life easier and cords are not in my way. This is just a mirror, I think it's called a mirror cord and you plug it into your phone and there's an HDMI on the other side and it will mirror what's on your phone to your TV. So I'm gonna see if I can do it as we are here and just see how that works. So my, t my monitor automatically is like on and hooked up to like my laptop right so there so it comes on a different channel and I don't know if I can really okay I can kind of show you to you but as you see so now we're here 
we can see everything just on that looks so crazy wow who knew that's how that looked though eh? it's like mirrored into itself <laughs> that's awesome I didn't know like it would do that did anybody else know that it's kind of cool anyways cool effect didn't know it did that but yeah um, when you're recording you can just hook it up and literally you will be able to see whatever is showing here right you can see it over here in the corner see my hand hello so that just gives me a good turn it around now I see myself up there okay undo that for a second so that just gives me a really good when I'm sitting here I'm like this looking I just have my head like here and I'm like okay this is working out amazing and that is just on a hook sorry pardon me how do you call it um a clip that clips to my desk that overcomes for a monitor and you can look at them up on amazon it's called a monitor stand i will link this one that i'm using i love it like i love 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 how i can move it i'll show you a little bit so i have this kind of here but this can move up down it does go up it can't go any foot higher up it's as high as it goes now but it is just attached here and like I said, I can, I can swivel it, move it, move it down. I can move it over here if I want to. But I love that it's like in my face because it just works best for me. Now, what my tablet is on, again, that one is attached to the desk as well. Do I like it attached to the desk? Honestly, I don't know. I like when it's there, but I can't really use it when it's there because it's just too far. If you look like I'm stretching too far to be like, that's not comfortable for me. But... I like it when it's there when I'm doing lives or when I'm actually like working and doing voiceovers because I can have my monitor so I can see what I'm doing and not be at a frame and then I can have YouTube on so I like that it's there so I don't know if I'd get the one that attached to the desk next time or a detached one a detached one might work better because then you can kind of move it around but again it'll take up room on your desk so it's all about preference at that point but yeah and then I also have another Archon mount right here for my cell phone i like to just keep my cell phone in that so when i'm recording i have everything i need like right up here so that's kind of how like that would look in a sense so when i'm here working doing my thing i can see what i'm doing on this screen i can have youtube on if i want it and then i have my cell phone in my face so i know if i have, like emergency calls because my cell phone is just on vibrate when i'm working so if sometimes you just don't hear the vibrate, at least I can look over, I'll see it light up and it's, it's more in my face. So yeah, that is how I have the full setup when I am working. Again, lights would be on. I like that they go low. You can get really like right in to what you need. But I do wish that that was a little longer. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's perfect because it's kind of short in all truth. So that's it for lights. Like I said, again, the Archon mount, I will put a picture up. I will put a picture up. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I will put a picture up of the other one I used to use and it was good because you could attach a camera to it and I, that's why I got it because I really wanted to use a camera when I first went into this I wanted to use a camera I did not want to use a cell phone I wanted to be like strict professional like and I just thought that was the better way to go and I quickly realized that I'm more of a phone girl I think the phone works better for me in all truth and I just learned more from using phone and apps so let's go through so we went through this, the cord that I use for my phone and that will get it to mo like mirror on the screen. You could probably do the same thing to an iPad. If you have an iPad, you could probably mirror it and use that as a monitor as well. Um, I don't see an issue that would probably be the same. I haven't tried it, but it'd probably be the same. Talked about our lights, the daylight saving lights. Yeah, I think it's Mount Dog, the soft box. Um, I will link the one I have that comes with two. Like I said, it's pretty good. The um, the attachment to put it on the wall is a little pricey. It was about $80, I think. And, but, oh, it's worth it. It's worth it. I love it to have it on the wall. It takes up no space. I can move this out when I'm not filming and I want all the daylight to be, like, in the house. This thing shifts so I can literally push it against this wall and it just be open. Absolutely love having that. that it's been a game changer. I just recently put that up since living in this new house now. So, 
editing apps okay so let's go over editing apps music because where do you get the music from right not you can't always get free music off things um and then our thumbnails if we forget about them they're very important i think we underestimate them sometimes that is what you want you want the clickbait you want people to click on it so you want it to be look good right so a thumbnail is the first picture you see of a video of mine so that's the video like that's what gets you either watching the video or just keep scrolling you're like eh, eh, it looks interesting you click on it right we want that we want a clickbait so thumbnails, I'll tell you what apps I use for that. Um, I do know of one other app that you can also, I hear good things about, haven't really used it much. And then also where you get music. Sometimes you can get free, free music, and sometimes you have to get music where we can just use it on YouTube because you can't use all music on YouTube, right? So a few more things and then this video will be done. I think it's not gonna be about that craze, right? Okay, so before we jump into the editing apps and stuff like that, I actually quickly just want to share one thing because I do find with me, even when I was learning, it's hard to figure these things out. And sometimes it's the simplest thing that we're doing wrong or just not at the right time. And so we don't. So one thing about filming with a phone is that you want your you want a full screen that's the bottom line of what we're trying to hope for right is a full screen so when people are watching your videos they see a full screen like they're watching a regular tv program and not a half screen or a split screen and you will see the two blacks on either side the two like blackouts or whatever kind of like the phone screen i love it but nobody wants to see that no, and it's it's hard and it's it's hard to hear it because you're like yeah people are buying they don't nobody likes it i don't like to watch it realistically do you really like watching a thing that's like so thing and weird right so pardon me i should have drank ginger ale before i restarted this so with that being said when you have a cell phone okay and you're recording your phone like this my phone's very dirty pure fingerprints so you're recording a phone like this you are going to have that black screen right so you need to turn your phone now when turning your phone you have to make sure that your phone so go into your settings and that will turn horizontally so you have to make sure that your phone is filming like this so before you even hit the film button or record button then you have to make sure your phone is already turned now you can look and depending on the angle of how you have your phone at the same time somebody wants to call me <laughs> the angle that you have your phone um and just to make sure that you're on that horizontal line and then when you do load it and uh, upload it it will transfer over to a horizontal big picture video now i just recently learned with going live i was having such trouble with that i'm like how do i get a full screen live it cannot be that crazy i tried turning my phone a million times never worked i'm like why is it not going horizontal why is it not what i was doing is every time i went to go live i had my phone like this i put in whatever the description of the video was all like this right took the thumbnail okay ready to go live hit live turn my phone like this did not work my phone always stayed in that same way or now my phone is sideways and now you're all you're seeing me is at a sideways angle so before to put our phone back before you even hit the go live button or type in any of your stuff you could probably type in your stuff that's fine but make sure you go put your phone horizontally Make sure you see your stuff coming down as in a horizontal way. Then you can hit your record button or you can hit your go live button and then you'll get a full screen to go live or a full screen to record your videos, to upload them to whatever platform you want to. So you'll get a full screen. So this good, this bad, <laughs> that makes sense. And I know it's it sounds a little harsh, I'm not going to lie, but I promise you if you are and been recording your videos and you have the half screen or you're doing it like so you're sideways and people have to kind of like look at your video sideways a little bit to see people want to watch the video just like how they would see you doing it so they almost want to be your eyes right so they want to see it from like your angle especially when you're doing nail art and stuff like that so to get that full screen I promise you in the end you might be like oh who cares but it will, it will get your views up it'll get your subscribers up it will just be overall a better video quality. You can see it better, right? So little details like that will go a long, long way. I'm not gonna lie, my first video was sideways. I didn't know how to do it. It was it was it was a terrible disaster. But we learn and we know what we want what we want, right? Like what you want to watch, what you enjoy watching, that's the type of videos you wanna make. You wanna make what you enjoy watching. At least that's what I do. I wanna make what I enjoy watching, and that's what I really make. That's why you probably get a lot of organizing 
and these type of videos because those are my favorite videos to watch so I love doing it but again we have to do all the little nitty-gritty behind the scenes that nobody sees so vertical good horizontal no good we don't want it or did I say that wrong oops I don't even know I think I said it right though so another tip when filming always try to have your screen make sure it is this way and so it's facing down at you like I said, if I'm filming, my phone is sitting like this. It looks like it's straight, right? But it's really going to be on the angle. So you're going to have to play with your phone. Make sure you flip it and thing it before you hit the record. It is down. You look at it and it's the way you need it to be full screen. And like I said, with the live, it is just that easy too. I just didn't realize that you have to turn it before you even go live. Like before you hit the go live button, turn that so you're already in the horizontal layout first and then put your name in whatever your screen name all that good stuff and then hit the go live and then you'll be full screen that easy i was literally have you ever heard that there's uh what's the name of that book but there's a story it is like three steps from gold or three feet from gold that's how i felt like i was quitting because i was like this is stupid why can't i figure out how to go live full screen it was that one little step and it's not that I didn't know how to do the step I just did the step at the wrong time so it's not that crazy a little bit of practice a little bit of just relentlessness on all truth and you'll get it right but I'm telling you if you can get your screen to be full size which you can because I use my phone and all my videos are full size you, you can get the same thing as I get like I said now it comes with the quality and all that quality should be good like the video now the video if the video is just a bad video like well that's just me then that's not the the, the quality that's just the editor <laughs> you know what I mean or the creator but behind like all the other stuff should be still good you know what I'm saying so tip on the phone thing if you're using a phone make sure you always have it in the horizontal layout so that way people see full screen full screen people want people don't want to see the cell phone two side black screens it's just not cute I know it's not cute um, now with filming shorts, I think you have to film them that way because if not, your camera's not going to be in the right angle because I've already messed that up to try to film a shorts. Film your shorts uh, vertical so that way you can get more into what you want to see. That's good for shorts, but not for the YouTube. So shorts, good um, for a full YouTube video you want horizontal. Okay, I forgot it. I wasn't even going to put that in there, but actually it's a really good thing because I struggled with it. I just recently learned how to do live. Uh, full screen and that's all I was doing wrong because I was like that's it because I was doing it all I just turned my phone on the wrong time and that's as simple as that I just turned it too too late actually it was, I didn't need to turn it earlier okay so let's go on and we're gonna look at the editing apps that I used to use and the editing app that I use now now I used to use I think it, I'm gonna I call it kind master or kin master it's pronounced K or it is spelled K I N E master. I use that editing app for over a year. Well, about a year, just I'd say a little over a year. Um, a very easy app to learn. You can get it free. The only difference is you'll have a watermark in the corner of your screen. Now I did opt out to buy mine. I think it was $5.99. Now I think it's like $8.99 a month. Um, I no longer use them though. But it was a great app. It got me started. It, it, it made me understand what transitions were, what how to cut screens and take out pieces and make it a smooth transition rather than just like a weird cutout. So, or just like how to add little elements to your videos. Like it's a really good starter. I, I feel like it, you get a lot of bang. Um, and you can also use it for free, like if you don't mind the, the um, thumbnail, and, or not the thumbnail, the um, watermark. And I think if you're just learning, who cares about the watermark? You know what I mean? You just want to get your stuff out there, get knowing. Eventually when you start making money, then you can spend money on your certain stuff. So Kinmaster is definitely, I would recommend it to any newbie, any, but like it's, it's such a good way to learn. But if you're already familiar with like how to edit and you want a better editing app, now I use Filmora. I use Filmora Go because I edit it on a phone, or not my phone, on my tablet, and the tablet is basically like a big cell phone. Um, but I also have it. I have the whole app. I paid for the year, and I have it um, on my laptop as well. I just don't edit on my laptop. I never edit on my laptop, in all truth. Now I only edit, ever edit on my um, tablet, which love, 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 because it saves my phone so much storage. 
but I used to edit from my cell phone, which is this cell phone. I used to always edit on like my work phone all the time with that. Perfectly fine. Um, I will say with that, like I said, I wanted to upgrade just for to do different things and just allow you to grow in the editing world. I feel like you you do have limitations with Kinmaster, so eventually you might want to go up and get a bigger one, but it's a great starter one. I really, really recommend starting there because if you have no knowledge about editing, and editing is very important. People think like, oh, it's, it's okay. My video can be an hour long. Yeah, you can have an hour long video. Nobody's saying that, but nobody cares about the boring parts. And that's the truth. Nobody cares that it took you five seconds to go grab a napkin and come back. You know what I mean? And that's the sad little truth. You have to cut the napkin part out and just be back. <laughs> Um, and it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It's hard. Now, this video is probably going to be long. All my videos are long, but that's coming from like a three hour video probably down to an hour video. And some are just long. People like them, but they don't want the boring parts. So editing is very, very important. Um, sorry. Um, it's just as important as everything else in all truth to get your views, continuous views. You don't want just people to watch your stuff one time. You want them to continuously watch your stuff. Um, okay, so editing apps. So yeah, again, now I know for Mac computers and Apple's, I hear Final Cut Pro is really good. Um, but because I'm not an Apple user, and to be honest, I like Filmora. I feel like that works perfectly well for me. Um, they're very similar to Final Cut Pro, I think. Like, I, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not like an editing guru or nothing. I don't know about these softwares, but I would say they're like similar. Um, but again, because I use Android. I need, um, I don't need, but um, I, I went for Mil Phil Mora rather than Final Cut Pro. And then for my thumbnails, I use Canva. Um, Pick Monkey is also another one. I haven't used them. I think I might have tried one or two, but like I just like the way Canva works for me. It's like I find it easy. So once I like something, I get used to it. I like, I'm kind of like, yeah, that's it, right? But again, guys, it takes time to get used to this stuff. Like I didn't walk in and was like, oh, I don't have to do this. Never took any of this in school, no background. And I did it all by myself. Just a lot of hard work. You have to put the time in, like nobody's gonna teach it to you. So if you're gonna go along the routes of learning yourself and that, you have to put the work in and that's all it is. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of edit or a lot of um, research and editing and just like edit how to edit. You know what I mean? Like, how do you do this? Research how to do that. So. That's a lot. Now, with Canva, or sorry, with um, Kinmaster, you can get a lot of free music from them. Like, they give you a list of what you can get for free. Again, you'll get some that you can with a pro. You have to be a pro, which is like, um, how do you call it? Which you're paying, and then you're not paying, you get whatever free ones there. So you obviously will get more of the app um availabilities if you pay but you'll be a little more limited if you don't pay you get the free version but if you can still do a lot with the free version on kinmaster but you do get your music you can get music from there that youtube will allow you to play now youtube is only going to allow you to play music that doesn't have like any copy bands and all these things on it so you need to go to either a site or somewhere where that you can use music that you can use on youtube so now that i switched over to filmora I tried to use some of their music off there, but they don't really have music like that. Like it's just not, it's a full editing app. Like, so you can get some, but I think I've had like, I got, a, I got marked on something. I think it was a Christmas song that I couldn't use. So I just, I knew with, I knew upgrading to Filmora, I knew I was going to have to upgrade and get um, a music app as well. So I went and got uh, Epidemic Sound. That's what I use for all of my music and it literally, you can just, it's all for like online stuff so you can use it um with no trademarks or no hits or anything like that if that makes sense there's a word for it and you think i can think of the word right now can't, can't think of it nope but it's, a, it's a to do with copyrights and that so so you can't just use like anybody's you know music and think that you could just play it and then you know so epic uh epidemic sound is what i use now again you have to pay for that so um it's on a monthly thing so that's what I use now because I upgraded to Filmora. But again, that's something when you're doing, you're going, you're upgrading, you're trying different things. So that's, you don't need that to start out like at all. But for where I am now, I feel like I want my quality of videos to be better. So I wanted to ed update my editing app. So with that came a 90 music, right? So they, some stuff does kind of come hand in hand or will come hand in hand over time. So I think that's it. 
Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I just really wanted to show you what equipment I use. Um, I'll show you a little bit, like, what Canva can do. Not much. But just to give you an idea of what a thumbnail is in that, I'll actually just show you on my tablet. And then I think we'll just cut this one off and we'll call it a day. So I'll just say my buys now. But um, I hope this is helpful for anybody um, that maybe wants to get into YouTube, wants to start creating content. I, don't, I only know about my own little journey and what I have used. So I don't know. I hope it helps. Dry lips. Love that lip chop. Got the pimple. Stupid. Alright. Okay, so here let's just look. So this is um, my editing app. Okay, so this is a video that I've uh, started to edit. I don't think I finished editing that though. No, it doesn't have a check mark. So for me, I check mark my stuff that does that is already done. See, like this has a check mark. That means I've already edited it. It's ready to go. Some of these now can fully come off. I will just delete them because I don't have storage. I don't keep them all. I'm not sure what that face is all about, but that means I didn't even put a thumbnail in yet. Or not my thumbnail. My um, what do you call it? Introduction video. Which is like this video. So that's all I do. Now when I did this, for whatever reason, I feel like that volume is a little loud. So here, I can come down here and I'm going to put that volume to 80. Just because I automatically feel like how I saved that intro is a little loud. So here, for instance, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to put a transition because I think a slight fade looks better than just nothing. And then you see that. Now, I have no clue what this video is, but I automatically like to turn up my voice volume to 160 and that's where I find is a good sweet spot. So today we just Besides when I'm doing this right now, be. lots of vlog. So <laughs> when I'm talking this close to the mic, I know my voice is going to be loud. So I might adjust that down to 160 or 150, but for the most part, I put my volume up on all my videos because I know I'm just like a low talker. And then if you cut, you can cut stuff out, anything like that. So this is how I edit. And you just, yeah, new project. You start it out. You pick what you want to pick, right? Add your videos, cut them. That's kind of what you do. It's a pretty, I don't know, like I said, this is the Go version. But because all this is is like a big phone, having a tablet, which I love. So Canva, this is where I do all of my thumbnails. So here you will see a lot of them are saved. And yeah, you just kind of do what, like, that's just how you make them, right? But see here, you can go over here to your social media and it tells you different layouts. So different platforms that you want, what type of banners, it'll give you the exact size that you need. And then there's also a lot of extra stuff that you can um, add to so they have extra stuff that you can use from right if you want to say like something like this is cute but like you don't want that whole background well then you just take out the background and this is what I'm saying over time you will get used to doing these little things and that's why I do like like Canva I feel it's easy you get used to it um, but I think the Kinmaster one's a really good starter see now I don't have to worry about the back and I can put this little thing wherever, do something up. You know what I mean? It just works really well. I like Canva for thumbnails. I feel like it's, it's a good thing. Now, Epidemic Sound. This is where I get all my music um, for my YouTube channel. So you can just pick whatever music you like, really. There's a whole whack. And you just... So, okay, so this one has lyrics. You can get the ones with okay, just intermit or just um, instruments, so you don't get any sound in the background. But all this perfectly legal to play on YouTube. This is what this this app is for, really, like to use on any uh, public platform type of thing, and not get like those little bands. 
helps if I shut it off, doesn't it? Okay, and these little things, this comes with the pen, this tablet. I never use that pen though. I could just use these because I use it on my phone as well. These, you can get them off of Amazon. I've bought a few off Amazon. This, I think, is from Sheen. It's just a little, like, pen. <laughs> I use them all the time. I love them, I love them, I love them. I think here, I got a whole whack of these. That's the smaller ones off of Amazon. I'll link them. I need new ones to see how the tip is going in. They get their work out. Trust and believe. So that's it, guys. I think we'll just call it from here. I appreciate you guys. I hope. There, that's probably better. So I do appreciate you guys. I hope I went over everything and I wanted to give a little extra, but this is all what I really use to for you guys to see the video. If you guys want to watch the video or when you are watching the video, all this stuff came into play for me to get that video to you guys, right? Like I said, edit the video, watch the video 17 times, and then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Put it back out, this, that, and then you just have to make a thumbnail. So pictures, all these things. There's only so much storage you have in like a phone that's why i said i really like if you could when you're going to upgrade that next phone keep that old phone don't trade it in and then you can have that as your main uh phone to record with i think it, it will help just to have the different phones and then if you can again eventually or if you already have a tablet that they work amazing for editing on because it's like a big phone really um i'm just not a sit at the desk editing person i've really come to realize that about me that's why i don't edit on my laptop i know you could take your laptop anywhere my laptop literally stays there because it's connected to my um thing my monitor but i just more i guess more of a phone and then now i love the tablet so i hope this helped at least one person this video is going to be probably freaking long again because i don't know why guys i don't know how to make short videos <laughs> It's a terrible thing with me. Um, but I do hope it helps somebody at least maybe get started on their YouTube journey or help them in their YouTube journey or whatever you're doing. If you're doing vlogs or just moments and whatever at all. I think I've upgraded to a pretty good little system right now. But like I said, take your time. Don't be hard on yourself. These things take time. There is other ones that you can get that are a little bit more affordable that work just as good. Um, and I'll definitely put some links down below of where I started because I didn't just start here guys I did start with the sock box. That was one of my big things I wanted to buy first was lighting because I knew how like the importance of it But I just went with the sock boxes. They do have better ones out there now um, Those were a hundred dollars for two. So you know what I mean? You're gonna have to put your money not on all the fun stuff all the time And some of the equipment and yeah, but once you have the equipment you're good Then you can go back to the fun stuff but it's best to prioritize what you need to get started and what's just not that important at the moment. Like, you know, even if you don't need a monitor, you don't need a monitor. I recommend them though. Like, I feel it works so much easier for content creating. I'm, I'm more in frame. I still get out of frame even with that right in front of my face. But I'm more in frame. I can see it and it just overall makes this little area feel very, very professional. I should say. So I love it. Thank you guys so, so much. Hit that subscribe. If this does not help you, if you do not hit the subscribe on this video, then by golly, I don't know what you want from me in life, but at least give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.